Hi, I wanted to make a short video to give you an alternative to Excel's data analysis tool set um, and the regression tool in particular that's part of that set. Uh, in the cases where you are running from a Mac computer in a, in a Mac iOS um, and you have a version of Excel, uh, Microsoft Excel, but uh, it's pre-2016, right? So before the 2016 release, um, the data analysis tool set wasn't there. Uh, and and um, if you have a, a much earlier version of Excel for the Mac, uh, it actually uh, was there, I think in 2011 and, and before. Uh, but there was that gap, the dark ages, where it, was, it wasn't available. And so to run a regression, you kind of have to look elsewhere. And that's what I want to give uh, you an idea of, of an alternative today, okay? And it's called Stat Plus. It's, there's a free version. Please do not purchase anything. Um, the free version is an abbreviated set of tools from this larger version, but it's all we need. And you can get here by just Googling Stat Plus for Mac. Uh, I'll highlight here up at the URL, so if you want to you know, pause this video and... Uh, or I could pop up a link if I forget, if I remember, but I'll probably forget. So you might as well um, uh, either uh, pause the video and jot that down, or just you know just Google Stat Plus for the Mac. You'll get to this free version, you'll download it, and once you do and you open it, you're going to get this little icon down here, okay? Um, and uh, this is how you're going to use it. So you're going to open up your. Well, I'm already giving you some of the. The end of the mystery there. You would open up your data set, and here I'm. I've got gender bias as my data set, and you can see that I have a salary. This is going to be my dependent variable in thousands of dollars, and years of experience, and I sorted on that. You can see female is a binary variable or dummy variable. That equals one if a person's a female, and then business degree is also binary which equals one if the person has a, a business degree. And to run a regression here, right, I'm running, uh, this screen is, is shot from an um, Excel version that's 2013, I think, or 2013 at the, at the very uh, latest. And uh, if I go to data, you, know, you see that I don't have data analysis, and, and I have no option to actually include it. And so I, I'm going to open up my Stat Plus, and seemingly nothing really happened except the top um, toolbar has changed to Stat Plus Mac. And I'm going to go to Statistics, and I'm going to go to Regression. And the one tool that we need here is Multiple Linear Regression. And, and although it's multiple regression, it can be used for simple linear regression as well, for a simple bivariate relationship. And you basically go through the same motions as you would with the, the Excel version. You want to get your dependent variable, right? And so I'm going to highlight everything. I, I also highlighted the label. Give it a second and it kind of populates. And then I'm going to do the same. And, and if I have three variables, I keep them adjacent to each other. Or however many variables I have, I just want to select them all with one fell swoop and go back and it will populate. And I did grab those labels, so I'd click there. You can see there are other options here that are kind of useful, even maybe more so than the ones that are um, that come with the Excel version uh, with line plots. And, and actually, when I, when I run this, and let's do that, I'm going to get a bunch of stuff. Um, and it's these first three tables here that are really comparable to the tables that are output in Excel. And so this first... Um, this first smaller table with the R squared and adjusted R squared, a number of observations, this is all very similar. Then it actually gives you your sample regression function. It kind of spells it out, so that's kind of cool. Then the ANOVA section, right, the regression sum of squares, residual and total sum of squares are all here, the mean squares. Um, and then the FSTAT as the ratio of these two uh, variances and the, the p-value associated with that FSTAT. And then this last table is, you know, the meat of the individual variables where I have my four estimates. I've got coefficients. That's the same label as in Excel, standard error. Uh, the t-stat, which comes right after the standard error in Excel, is kind of pushed out to the right. And these are the conf confidence level upper and lower limits. P-value. And then it actually goes a little further and tells you whether you reject the null 
at the 5% level. So at the 5% level, we have experience in female as significant variables in this case. And then this, this additional table down here is all the residuals. And it's pretty cool. You get your predicted and your um, the actual and the residual, right? It's the difference between them, of course. Uh, and then it standardizes these things um, so they can be uh, easily compared. Um, and, you know, actually a lot of this I've, I've never uh, explored before. Um, I, I, my, myself, you know, I, I typically don't use Excel for regression, but um, in this class, uh, I think this is uh, probably the easiest tool set to, to learn for what uh, you need. So that's it, and I'll leave you there. Again, it's called Stat Plus, right, for the Mac, and go with the free download.